Okay, I forgot to say hello, everybody. Okay, disappeared. Okay, this is from before, so I can uh, talk over it, I guess. I want to start a bit earlier so I don't miss anything. But I fucked it up, so here I am. Okay, well, let's see what this year brings. She's straight busted. Shut up, Margaret. If we can't get her mind right for this press conference, I've got something better. All right. I don't want to. So wait, that's the future's future, future. So what's now? The future's future. I've... Take a look. This is the future, Nina. This is the future's future. Uh, all right. No, I should bring the camera. What do you need me for? I need you to help me stop the thing now, so the thing doesn't happen. What? Same. I need you to help me stop the future's future, future, future by canceling the future's future. future. It's a thing. It's like a fucking movie at this point. Is that is that a third one? Is this is a trilogy at this point? That's enough with the primping, you poops. She's a nice. I just jack punched a Terwilligan bummed up a full of Shadow Warrior three footage through her quartet. That galloping femgrammon is like. None seconds away from flipping all the way out. Okay. Whoopsie. She's the Shadow Warrior. Is that the best job in the world or what? Where did you stab? Where did that came from? Don, what's our status? Are we set? Oh yeah, totally. She's green across the board. Online and prep cycle the gameplay reveal sequence in three, two, one, and hit it. I pull up just in advance. Alright. Thank you. In the year of our sword, 2013. Devolver Digital and developer Flying Wild Hog rebooted the seminal 1997 slash nasty Shadow Warrior series to a skull-thumping spectacle of bullets, blades, and blood. Demon. Sorry for this. Then, in 2016, Shadow Warrior 2 up-fucked the bar for first-person melee combat and maximum next-level ninja shit in one of our most successful games ever, forever. Now, Shadow Warrior 3 is set to vault the series forward again by expanding its trademark combat and piling on a fuck ton of new additions like brutal executions, thrilling annihilation, and gorgeous acrobatics, making every battle a new violent portrait to paint. It is time to stop and smell the cherry blossoms and then cover those cherry blossoms with buckets of blood. Demon blood. Ladies, gentlemen, folks, your first look at Flying Wild Hogs Magnum Motherfucking Opus Shadow Warrior 3. Check a look. Why is it check a look, not take a look? It annoys me a little bit. Well, howdy, stranger. 
Can you hear me? Demons, they're trying to break through the gates. I'll track you down. I've never played Shadow Warrior, but I do have those. And I am planning to play it. The fuck is that? A harmonica? I'm not sure if that's the word in English I'm looking for, but sure. I bet so too. Oh god. Stay frost. I'm kind of afraid to play the first the previous games after this trailer. I don't know how much this is similar or different. And I definitely don't have money for the third one. Okay. Oh, 2021? I thought it... For some reason I was thinking it comes out in November. is in super targeted high concept digital showcases and we're already all the way on top of that in here in her we're on the bleeding falling edge of a brave new world in video game marketing i've worked toots in years to get this project off the ground and with devolver digital protocol we'll be able well, to well what i'm not sure where you think we are linda this devolver direct shit is great using nina as a trans interlocal broadcast conduit or whatever is defo a stroke but it's been a year. So what? It's been a year. So everybody's doing digitals. Yeah. Everybody. Uh, okay. So. I thought he's gonna go. Few hours, he's gonna throw shade, like places, even something. Somewhere between 200 and 350 something fucking games announced. Nobody can keep up with this. It's total market saturation. Oh, see. People love marketing. The more, the better. The world runs on hype now. Hype! Hype and nothing else. Do you think people enjoy the games they play anymore? They don't. They enjoy the years-long cork-soaking cluster junk of teasers and trailers, first looks and reveals to consume and dissect. It's the campaign. Every teasy poosing little screenshot, every butt-munged retail leak. The games themselves are a side effect, a chore, really. People obsessed over games for two years, and then, in one sitting, they burn through it like it's a gazooki for parking microwave pizza. Yeah, okay, sure. She has a point. But these digital showcases are getting legitimately out of hand. Their numbers have exploded. Executives are doing them from home now. I don't know what the hell's going on. It's just announcement after announcement after announcement. Like, things are being announced just for the sake of announcing something. Like, Ubisoft just announced an Assassin's Creed set in 1961 rural Indiana. I watched Konami do two full hours on four new Metal Gear games, during which they had a surprise break-in event to announce the cancellation of three of them. During the same live stream. This is madness, Linda. And it's on you. You started it with... with that shit. This whole shit! With E3 out of our way, 
I'll be able to broadcast the Poothing Devolver Poothing Direct every Poothing Day until these ho-dunk podunk, well then their dump poop consumers spend their every last dollar on Devolver games. And there's nothing you can do to stop me! You're on the bus or you're under the tires, so either you queue up the next segment or you get the frick out of my studio! Whatever you say, lady. I want that device. It's time. Nineteen sixty one rural Indiana. Stupid. Margaret? Where are you? I'm outside. Outside of the direct. Is that your bedroom? It doesn't matter. This is meetings now. Listen, we need to talk. I don't know, Madge. This is a secure line. It's the only way I can say any of this. If I do it from inside, Linda will know. Or Dom will find out, and then Linda will know. This is the only way. Say any of what? Say it. I know how to stop the future's future future. Oh, boy. This shit again. Before she got the living shit shot all the way out of her by that disgruntled Devolver fan from first the past, but then from the future's future future that one time, Nina advised a contingency plan. She left it in case something exactly like this whole ridiculous marketing mega mess were to happen. Oh, yeah? What does it do? I don't have a single clue. She only told me that it exists, who has it, and that it has a name. What's it called? Devolver Line. Devolver Line. It's a giant reset button, the nuclear option, a last ditch effort. It's Predator activating his wrist detonator, or, or Belloc opening the arc, or Bastion yelling Moonchild. Why? It's... Why is this a thing? Corporate America is a dog eating dog eat dog eating dog world, Zane, and she was a dog eating is dog eating dog in the dog pile. Woof! It's an insurance policy against usurpers. It's a booby trap against what are you talking about? The directs, Zane. Nina saw the coming tide of digital showcases and the rise of hype over games. Someone, someone like Linda, was bound to leverage that power. It's an insurance policy against her. I get it, yeah. So how? All I know is that someone called the Architects got it locked up for safekeeping. The Architects? We need to get it and get Nina to announce what it. This the simulation Matrix? What the is hollow. It's just words and hype. This thing the Architect has, it's bigger than hype. It's real. You are so quite close. We get the whatever it is from whatever he is and we get Nina to announce it and then we that and the whole simulation shuts down but I'm in there I've got a meeting with him exactly just now it was exactly 12 minutes ago but there was a time zone mix up and then he got stuck on mute and the audio got all bored and my mic was picking up the AC and shit I, the next segment you again soon. yeah yeah I, I, I gotta go okay I'm in there though if you really think about it Anyway, thank you, Yoshida-san, oh, yeah. for joining us today. Our audience is super yeah. totes excited about mm. the release date for Fall Guys, and we couldn't have asked for a better host for the news. Apologies, again, I know we had discussed having two actual Fall Guys as co-hosts for the segment, but our air quotes marketing director genuinely had no idea that they eat each other when left alone. I know, I just, my bad. Good news, though. Our beloved CEO, Nina Struthers, is ready to go up on split screen with you. No problem, Linda. These things happen. I'm ready to go. I'm very excited about sharing the screen with Nina. Okay, guys, we're up. Ready to rock socks in three, two, one, and... <laughs> English, Our well. next guest joins us from Tokyo, Japan. Mr. Shuhei Yoshida, head of Indies Initiative, Sony Interactive Entertainment. He's got some news about the upcoming massively multiplayer party jam, Fall Guys. Thank you, Nina. And my well, that wasn't a joke. To the loss of the two Fall Guys that was scheduled to be here. I too have no idea that they ate each other. Quite surprising, but they look tasty actually. Th that's hella dark. Hella dark, indeed. Yeah. Shall we move on? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, please. Devolver Digital and PlayStation have some exciting news to share about Fall Guys. Please enjoy this new trailer that I edited myself. No way, really? Not really. Ah. Uh... The hell? This is it Battle Royale? Again. Yeah, I guess so. Yep. What the hell is this? It would be cool, like a wipeout by Battle Royale. 
where the point is not to attack each other but to survive the obstacle course. Course. Or curse. Or curse, I don't fucking know. Listen to four in Steam. Jump down goes forth. Stumble towards ratings on Discord. <laughs> Hashtag stumble for I was told this was a starring role, which it's not. And that I would have creative say, which I don't. I did not agree to co-host this thing. I'm starring now. I star. I am a star. None of this co-host crap. Listen, Red, this is a digital showcase. There are no stars. You will be featured. Hard. These are uncertain putzing times, buddy. I'm not saying you're lucky to have a gig right now, but you're lucky to have a gig right now. Did you just my marketing my... team was able to score a heckin' big name as a guest for you to co-host with. He looks good. Is that a or CG? Look good. The rising tide, Red. For both. It raises all boats. I promise this will be the split screen for the ages. I'm not trying to play the Thorax that beats me here, Linda. But don't think for one red second this isn't going to come up when we negotiate for the sequel. Did you just confirm the sequel? Oh, let's announce that instead. Don, uh, spin up a carry on two announcement thing. On it. My client is not directly or indirectly by action or statement confirmed or implied the existence of a carry on sequel or sequels at this time. Oh, if you really think this kind of scare tactic is going to. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, close by. Shame. Don, do we still have the co-host style? Locked and loaded. Look, let's just act like professional business people and do this. We can work out the little deets later. Chill. Chill. Let's do this. Holy smokes! Phil freaking Spencer, head of Xbox. Yeah. Hey there. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be co-hosting this announcement. Oh, with man. The, the pleasure is all the way mine. To solve I... the gay. Wow. I had no idea you knew about my game that I'm in. Well, the fine folks at Devolver Digital invited me to announce the release date of Carrion, and it's only right for the star of the game to be here. I am so sorry. I'm a nervous eater, and man, oh man, am I nervous. Don't be. Let's just roll the trailer, take a look at the latest, before you announce the release date. <sighs> what a disgusting thing. Is that him on top? I guess so. Do you play as him? That would be cool. Zombie fight people as well, that's awesome. That looks like a prototype devastator. Is that 23rd already? It was on PC and Switch. They have been bought PlayStation because it's Phil Spencer. Is that his name? Yeah, fuck it. Whatever. I don't care. Well, I'll be darned like an old sock. They put the actual release date in the release date trailer video package. I thought it was going to punch to a hook and then cut to me, and that was supposed to be actually me. They hosed me. They absolutely did. You do the rest, Phil. I'm straight shook. Shook it. No worries, friend. Carrion from developers Phobia Game Studios launches on Xbox One and PC and comes to Xbox Game Pass on July 23rd. We can't wait for you. And to get Switch. Home. Phil? I mean, Devolver Digital is just about as unprofessional as it gets. Feel forgot about the Switch. Now with the this ridiculous, dumb, stupid, ridiculous. Hey, can someone disconnect me? We've got a console to launch. I think it just you just click on the select video options from the drop down, and I think it should. Yeah, you got it. You see me now? 
Not unless you're spinning the ball with me. No. How about... Holy shit, it's Jeff Keighley! Hey! The architect. You're, you're the architect? Of course, you're the architect! I don't know who oh, this wow. is. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> so, the Valverland. You've got it, right? I do. Ina gave it to me and said you might come looking for it one day. I'll start uploading the files now, and I gotta go soon, because we've got a big Summer Game Fest event coming up, and it's gonna be a good one. But all Nina has to do is make the announcement, and she'll be in the driver's seat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what we need. I'm not sure I totally get it, but... Where are you looking at? And we'll get it done. You're amazing, Jeff. Thank you. And Nina, I'm sure she thanks you, too. Good luck out there. You're gonna need it. Yeah, it looks Holy like ice. Shit! Zane, I've got it. I've got the Valver Land. It's great, great. That's great. What the hell is it? I don't know, but what I do know is that it's files, and I've got those files, and we need to get these files into the announcement schedule for Nina to announce during this Evolver Direct right now. All right, send the files to me, and I'll get. Oh, shit. What? I gotta get it to Don if it's announcements. So. So that guy's a dick. It looks like one as well. The next one. Linda, there is no next one. I've been trying to tell Listen, you. Listen, Donnie boy. The future's future is at hand. If I tell you to queue up the next one, you flipping queue up the next one. Do it. Linda, these games don't even exist. Like, at all. And, and as far as I can tell, Devolver has no... Arenas and games we have no intention of making? Darn tootin', Don. Don't you get it? This is where it's headed. Where it's been headed. This is the next level. People want this. They need it. They're starved for it. The games don't matter anymore. Just that we announce them. Let them have what they want. Let them I guess. Hype. Roll the segment. Probably quite a lot of people don't care about oh, shit. Okay. who yeah. creates the games. They just want to see the games themselves. Uh, I don't really want to do this. Doesn't seem totally necessary. Just to it. Oh, I hate this guy. Fine. I, Bernard Foddy, am super duper hyped to announce my next game. Uh, getting down with Bernard Foddy, a sensual rhythm dance game featuring the hardest tracks from me, Bernard Foddy, and the sickest dance moves from me, again, Bernard Foddy. Are we done here? The Volver Graphics 16. Oh, thing perfect! Roll another one! <coughs> Hi! Hello! Uh, I'm Gabriella. Uh, and I'm Dean. <laughs> and we have nothing to announce, so thanks. Bye. Uh, well, we have one thing. We have a studio. <gasps> Oh, Called yeah. Beans. Yeah, this one. In Toronto. <laughs> Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we're working with Devolver Digital on. Uh, probably a game, maybe. Yeah, well, we're I, working on something. I, I don't know. Um, and we'll announce it. Uh, we might show it. Probably next never. Year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, never. We'll show it next We'll show it next year. Sometime uh, next year. But we are hiring, uh, and you can check that out at www.thebeansteam.com on your local internet provider. <clears throat> So, uh, bye, have a great year. Oh, and fuck you, Linda. Fuck you, Linda. Beans Team. Devolver Station 5. Oh. Already Devolver yeah. Station 5. Again. More! More! The hell? Uh. You're telling me to announce the game's thing. Sonic Fox. It's okay, just just announce it, or, or Linda will kill me, literally. Sure, okay, whatever. Nice printer, man. Hi. This is Sonic Fox here, and I'm thrilled to announce Sonic Fox's Furry Fighter 4, even though there's not Furry Fighters 4 to 3. <sighs> Holy shit, thank you. Uh, you absolutely saved my life. Sure, whatever. You're lucky the game's not even real, otherwise the Knicks are dumbass in it. Sonic Fox Furry Fighter 4, Devolver cast. So many cancels, Devolver is ahead of the game. <laughs> Okay. Oh, hello, Witcher. I'm not doing a bathtub scene for some no-name publisher's digital showcase. End of story. I'm not getting memed again. There you are. Yen, did you leave 
the megascope on again? Yeah, no, it's definitely working. How do I turn this bloody thing off? Turn Break it. Where is it? Damn it. Coming to the roller 64. I look at her face. Uh -huh. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, that was maybe too much. That backfired. That was Carol's of Rivia. What else have we got? That was the goddamn Witcher. Done! Oh, yeah. Um, that's the list. Uh, He's not real, Don. Mother loving butt crumpets, Don. Give me something. I'm up and I don't want to come down. Give me that sweet release. Get me over the edge. Get me an industry celeb. I, I, uh. Oh, I have an uncle that works at Nintendo and no one ever. Okay, that'll me. do. Just bring him in here and spin up Nina. I'm gonna need a minute. Okay. Uh, apologies in advance, though. That guy's kind of a bonkster. Oh, God! What the actual. I need you to cue this up. What? No, uh, my uncle from Nintendo's up next. I don't care when, just. You need to get these files into Nina's announcement list. Why? What, what even is the. What even is this? This is way out. It's way out of Father Direct. No, man, I need this gig. I, I've got dental and shit. She's fucking insane, man. This is all fucking insane. It's not just. He's not that big of a dick Don. as he said. Oh, Zane. Listen, Don's got this uncle we're doing with Nina right now. Get back to your shiz. Let's get going. On it. Yeah. Our next guest needs like zero point none introduction. You have heard about him in your favorite forums, on the socials, in your Usenet groups, and on your best friend's MySpace pages. He is a legend to each and every one of us. What have that real deal, holy field, interest in the video. And I am deep down proud to be the one to bring him all the way to you, direct, audience at home, my uncle that works at Nintendo. Hey, yeah, yo, thanks for having me or whatever. Look, let me get one thing out of the way first. Uncle Want to know the Nintendo. next character coming to Smash? Because, sister, I can tell you the next character coming to Smash. No, no, not at all. No, this is neither the time nor, frankly, the legally licensed venue for that sort of announcement. Tom Nook is into the federal government for over 600 large and unpaid taxes. And let me tell you something about it. He ain't got it. Okay, this is really none of my business, and it really isn't what you're supposed to be talking about anyways. So Yoshi, you know, the dinosaur? He did a nickel hard in the stony lonesome on possession with intent. In the can, they called him the mouth. And he ran a gang called the J-Cats? Wait, are you serious? Oh, yeah, yeah. That toadstool broad went rat on him for immunity. Now, she would have ended up in the clink, too. She's got connections. Royal coffers. Big name suits. The whole thing was a cover-up. Probably some princesses. Yeah. Oh, that's scandalous. What else you got? Huh, sister, I got a lot. A lot. It was supposed to be this new game coming out this year, they were saying. But he's all tied up on account of the divorce. And it ain't look like he's gonna be working anything but that alimony anytime soon. So all things all froze up. Done like dead, dead, dead skis. Oh, 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 uh, Pikmin Battle Royale, fiscal year 2023. You didn't hear it from me? Fascinating. What can you tell us about the Is that how I'm gonna look like in anything 10 years? Right now? <laughs> yeah, check it. Hey, toss that up on the tubes or whatever. It's this games called Aaliyah by these guys, we'll call themselves Skeleton Crew, what make games. It's hitting Nintendo Switch and Steam this year, and it is a gorgeous little action adventure jam with this crazy. He knows what Switch is. Phil Spencer mind. doesn't, so. It's good. It's Who's really better good. to head I love it for Xbox? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. My uncle that works at Nintendo. You are the best uncle that works at Nintendo. And the best part is, you are my uncle that works at Nintendo. You know, we should have you on every year, you know? Not happening. You're about to get a C and D. You ain't never gonna see me again. In fact, you never saw me in the first place. This whole conversation never happened. Crabbed walk away. Is it the boom? Oh, well, uh. Is that an actual game? From the most unexpected guy. That reminds me of Salt and Sanctuary a lot. Let me 
can be a roguelike. And looks a bit too complex for a roguelike. Rapier out of a great sword. Available now. And you're also out there. Yeah, yes. So are you? That's how this works. Did you get the pods down? Yeah, I don't think he's gonna help us Do out. Do you hear that? Serious Sam? My way through this lame ass presentation. Shit. Yeah. What is that? It's, it's a headless a bomber guy. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Balls, I'm sorry I'm late. I literally ran all the way from 2013 to get No problem. No oh. problem. Uh, He's running for this is about serious Sam for seven years. Yeah, I have a trailer here and a release date for this. What is this? Some kind of internet presentation or something? We already have the release date, champ. You're later than you think. It's launching in August, and everyone already knows. Fuck me. Did some Walmart in Canada spring a leak again? No, no. This is all about board stuff. Co team announced it two months ago. Shit. Yeah. Okay, I guess that's cool or whatever. I've only I've only been running for seven fucking hey. You guys mind if I pop a squat? These dogs are a bark. No! I was an explorer once. Captain Sam Stone of the Surveyor. It was Those good. Scorpion Kings? No. It was awesome. Protein. Deep over digital. The truth is. They don't care about who we used to be or what we wanted to do. But if they thought this was gonna be easy, they came to the wrong fucking planet. Oh, serious, them Five? I love count. Or maybe they'll have a ward instead? A guitar. Four? I thought four already came out. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, hello. Ow. That hurt. Steam and steady, yeah. 2020. Super duper serious. Okay. Old news, but super good news. Don, let's tie it up something big. Give me a closer. I need something martial. Actually, man, shut up, Madge. Yeah, no, the uh, the uncle from Nintendo was our ace in the hole. We are, yeah, we're out of announcements for this year. Are you sure about that? Yeah, dude, super sure. Gosh, frazzling shooter, sugar, freaking bull, hot sucker bits. You are the worst on the absolute buck bundle, duck looking worst. Hey, it's not my fault. We that... can't end on an indie game. We can't end on your pooping uncle. Give me something all the way. You're not even serious, Give Sam. Oh hey, I got something. Should be good. Suspension. The future of video games and the future's future future. It evoked real, actual change.
Once a year. Every year. For years now. You. Dumb. Fuck. Consumers. With more disposable income than common sense. Have gathered around. That's not me. To listen to actual. I don't have income. Powerful people like me. Tell you what to like. What to get excited about. And most importantly. What to buy. You stare. Dumbly at your screens. Drooling. Waiting for instructions. You beg for unsubstantiated leaks. Cheaply orchestrated. Hands free demos. You suck down first looks without even the slightest thought for what is a real thing in real life that you can actually have and really interact with enough enough with the bullshit you have been had rooked gamed bamboozled Shaped. You have been taken for a ride on a bus driven by greed and you have paid for it with your own super hard-earned cash. You deserve better. We deserve better. Okay. And I am here to give it right the fuck to your faces. That is right. You slack jawed sacks of video game backlogs, Devolver Digital is proud to announce. I am proud to announce. I was just gonna say, I the forgot. First ever playable video game experience that takes all of the in-your-face stink and discomfort, pomp and circumstance of a high-rent, crowded convention hall packed full of all of us assholes and packs it all up into That's a lot of build-up. Really, really should be interested in any way. An actual, playable video game you can actually video game play as a video game when we actually release it for you to video game play right now holy shit you guys it is devolver land expo The convention center is now closed. Please vacate. You are not welcome here. Exhibitor merchandise is off limits. Your curiosity will end you. The fuck? For free, really? So, there you want meaningless marketing hype? Have it, but have it as a video game because really, that is what all of this shit is about in the first place. Yeah, Volverland Expo is available now. Now, 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 go get it free of charge on Steam and dive face first into the future of video games and the future's future future. Stop. Okay. That was a thing. Is that it? Is this it?
done, Thacker. Well done. Lizzy Lopez, Ada Con Chavez. Ninja Thacker, that's loud! This is annoying. We haven't actually seen him before. The long haired guy with the beard. Okay, that. I thought he said it was CG. Because when he moved, well, also he wasn't the headless to begin with, but when he was moving, it was a bit weird. You wear your mask wrong. How you know? Why did you appear? Go away. Alright. Is the mouse here? Fuck off. Go away, Bennett Potty. You pretentious freak. The, I want that thing. The fuck is that? I got Tetris piece. Oh, hello. Tetris piece. Cover for an iPad? I want that, even though I don't have iPad. I would just a case. Oh wait, Phil, you forgot Nintendo Switch. I will not let him let you live it down. Unless you give me an Xbox. That I don't really want, but it's a free thing, so I, I wouldn't mind. I can be easily bribed. This is a Marvel movie. The future. The future? Not the future's future, not the future future future. So I'm getting fast on Twitch. I'm assuming this is it, so I'll lower the voice the sound. Uh this was fucking great. They showed games, there were quite a lot of jokes. Which was annoying at E3 and all that stuff. It's like... I've never been to one physically. I kind of wanted, wanted to. But it drew a lot of people and I hate it. Uh, but I saw... 
there were a lot of like musical concerts and stuff like dances and why nobody cares about that they came there for games like that's not that wasn't the point so just this i love this much more not even devolver digital just this and the ps5 thing i saw i streamed that's much better it just just the meat just the trailers some words from developers or whatnot and that's it no needless musical pauses or dances fuck just one or maybe even few hours of just gaming just trailers if you're still watching and want to know what i'm gonna do next no, before that, actually, uh, I will stream if I don't forget this tomorrow. Ubisoft Forward, eleven thirty. Uh, Ubisoft eleven thirty. Oh, what was the world at twelve? So it's half an hour earlier. Okay, I didn't know that. I thought it started at the same time. Okay, good. I want to stream watching Ubisoft Forward and the Xbox Game Showcase. I hope I won't forget. Also, about the games. I've never, like, I'm very excited. Well, I'm not very excited, but I enjoyed the trailer of uh, Shadow Warriors 3. I've never played first two. Or any other, if there are, like, Shadow Warrior Revengeance or some shit. But I do have them on Steam, and it, because of Shadow Warrior 3, I might go and buy them. What the fuck? Go away. What? what? Oh, that's a shitty system, Twitch. Fuck you. Uh, yeah. Well, my stream lamp's all fucked up now. Yeah. So... I enjoy, I might play the Devolver Digital thing later. Not tomorrow because tomorrow I'm gonna do Ubisoft one. Maybe after tomorrow? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't. It looked interesting, but it's probably not a long game. But it might be fun. We'll see. Anyway. Thanks anybody who watched this, especially for this point, you are insane and not in a good way. But thank you anyway. Hope to see you next time, goodbye, have a great life because one of us has to. That's about it.